Okay, so first you want to take your backdrop and measure it. Take your two shower curtains. I got these from the Dollar Tree. Just two of them. You're not going to need um, one whole one. You're going to measure it from one end to the other one. Of course, the one whole shower curtain will take up most of it, but then you're going to cut a piece off from the um, second shower curtain. What I did here is um, I just simply um, opened it and kind of laid the um, shower curtain over the backdrop. Um, got my handy dandy scissors. <laughs> um, so yeah. All right, so here you see that I need to cover this piece with the other um, shower curtain. Of course, you're not gonna use all of it, um, which is great. So the next time that you do you um, yourself a fringe backdrop, you can actually use the other portion that you did not use rather than buying um, two. All right. All right, so after you measure it out, you can see that um, they're going to overlap each other. You're going to tape it all the way from the top to the bottom. Um, so let's circle back. All right, here you can see that I needed to move because I needed to make sure that I had enough room to tape everything without being scrunched up in this living room. As you can see, is huge. More than enough room for me to do what I need to do. So I'm just going to simply lay... The, show, the um, shower curtains next to each other. Of course, I'm going to overlap the small one. Uh, make sure you put the right side on the right side. Basically, the top part should have be the part with the holes in it. The bottom part should be the one that has like the little um, magnets in it. As you can see, I had it the wrong way. Just simply flip it, and then you're just going to overlap it a little bit. As you can see, it's overlapped. And you're just going to tape it down. With the strongest tape that you can have, I use Gorilla Tape.
right, now that you have your backdrop and it's ready to go, let's go ahead and get your tablecloths. So here, um, I actually got this tablecloth from Walmart for $2.47 plus tax, and it's three in one pack. That's a win, because wherever you go, it's usually going to be $1. Um, so that was a win. Um, I'm definitely going to go back and get some more, since these French backdrops are in style. The rest of those are just from the Dollar Tree. Um, I just got one. Um, I actually used about um, nine, but I, it looks as if I really only used seven tablecloths and all. But um, also, this is based on how you make it. Um, if you want to spread it out, um, as in the piece is going to be longer, then you're going to need more tablecloth. But if you use it, tape it the way that I've taped it, just, you know, inching it apart, then you should be fine. Right here, you're just going to take the tablecloths apart but you're only going to make it to where it's half. So unfold it, but leave it where it's rectangular and it's literally folded in half. The reason for that is because that crest, the crease at the top, you actually need to cut that um, down the line where it's folded to make two parts of this rectangular tablecloth and I'm going to show you here in a minute I usually fold it in half so it's it's two different halves you're going to cut it I fold it in half and then I cut it that way so I'm not cutting this long line because as you can see I'm in the kitchen I have roommates and um, I don't have like that much space when they're home so I just literally fold this and I just cut it in half and I'm good to go All right, as you can see, you see where it meets? I'm just gonna cut it right down the middle, right down there. Here I actually did an extra step. You don't have to do that. You can leave it the way that it's cut, but I cut them all in one fourth. So now every part is gonna be as small as you can see it right there. Um, it's not necessary for you to do that, but it was just that some room is so small, so I don't have to move that often. I just cut everything um, the size of that little uh, square rectangular that you see right there.
All right, so here you're just going to um, cut up all the way until where you see my hand. So it's, it's probably like two inches. You don't want to cut all the way to the top or cut like just straight lines just because you need somewhere to tape um, it on to whatever you're taping in it, whether it's paper. I'd strongly suggest to use shower curtain um, with the best tape if you want to use hot uh, uh hot glue or any kind of um, sticky glue then that works fine too um actually the low tip gun, gun may be working better all right so right here you guys see that i'm just cutting up and up and up and up i'm just gonna keep cutting all the way up until i get to that little part where i told you guys to stop and it's literally repetitive you're gonna continue to cut 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 and you're gonna do that until you're finished with this little strip so, um, I believe you guys got it. I'm going to speed this up. All right, and so here we go. It, that's how it's gonna look, and now you're gonna repeat the steps with the same process that we just did. And bada bing, bada bing. All right, so we're gonna separate what we've already cut, and you're just gonna place it on the shower curtain. So I actually made mine a little bit too high, so if you wanna go down a little bit lower, cause you do want them dangling on the floor, unless it's your preference for your floor not to be covered up. So just bring that down just a little bit, um, I would say about five five inches from the bottom. Um, as you can see where I've taped it, it's good to go. And I just just lay them out already that way. So when you come across, come back with the tape, you can just literally just come back with the tape and um, tape them together and then do your next line and your next line and your next line. Make sure you spread them out to make sure that you're covering the entire shower curtain from left to right top to bottom because you want to make sure when you're doing your balloons the back of the side of the shower curtain isn't showing and if you use enough fringe if you use enough um yeah the tablecloths fringe that are that's cut up then it'll be perfect it won't be showing you're going to take your tape you're going to tape each side down and um that should secure it you can tape it in the middle if you want to or not um i did discover that the tape kind of came off rarely easy it did stand up though so i'm still um, um playing around with this to see what's the better option for me to use to make this secure because i want my backdrops fringe backdrops to be reusable um like i said just continue to tape it and i'm going to speed this along because the process literally goes the same i'm going to put these new ones down actually i'm going to put them closer to the ones once you put a different color you're going to go up a little bit and we'll see that this one is going to stay like right on top of it Right above it, sorry. Right above it. All right, here we go.
This thing took probably so an hour to cut. An hour to cut. Plus, uh, an hour to cut. Plus, I'm a good doula, I'm a chicka boola, bibbidi-bop. I pick the best in the West, that's it the best.